Hey, Justin here from the Butch Harmon School of Golf. Today I'm going to talk to you about a phrase which you hear quite often in golf commentary, especially when referring to how well a player is hitting the golf ball, and that's ball compression. Now I'm not sure that that many people really know what golf ball compression is, and in describing it to you, I think the best way to, to understand the overview of it is it's the way the golf club efficiently communicates energy to the golf ball. Now the golf club's moving at the golf ball from different lines that we can see. It's also going to present different areas of energy to the ball, if you like. So the first thing I would say, let's pretend that we're going to hit this right out of the middle of the club face, okay? So from there, I want you to think that from the face on, when you're looking at a player from the front, the player can communicate with the ball the following things. He can communicate the dynamic loft of the golf club. Now that's the loft that we see at impact. He can also communicate the angle of attack given to the golf ball. Now, if the dynamic loft is kept down and the angle of attack is kept fairly shallow for the golf club that he's hitting, those two energy lines or those two energy vectors, if you like, they're going to communicate with the ball in a very efficient way. If, for example, the dynamic loft was very high and the angle of attack was very steep, then a player is going to hit the ball with more of a glancing blow with the loft downwards into the turf, the ball flies up into the sky and he doesn't create much distance. Now from the other side, from the down the line view, the player is going to communicate the path of the golf club coming into the golf ball and he's also going to communicate the face angle coming into the ball. Now if the path and the face angle are somewhere close together, once again he's going to be communicating efficient force into the back of the ball. If the path, let's say, is moving rapidly across the ball and the face is pointing away over here to the right, once again then you're going to get more of a glancing blow to the ball. So it's a very, very good idea to understand a couple of little areas where you can start to, to get a feeling for communicating the path and the face together. And that's where you see a lot of players working on their delivery position. Working in your delivery position, taking a backswing, moving back towards the impact area. We're looking for the face of the club to start to look down towards the ball. We're looking for the path to be moving just slightly from the inside. And that's going to give you the most efficient chance to communicate that energy to the golf ball. From the face on, you can work towards using an impact bag or using a, a bag of balls here that I've got. And in placing that just in behind the ball, you can get the feeling of taking the dynamic loft down by pushing the handle of the club forward, leaning and rotating your body weight into the left side. And that really gives you the feeling of the correct type of strike you're looking for. So to compress the ball, remember those two little tips understanding the overall aspect of ball compression can really help your striking and use this for better ball striking in your golf.